All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here. Just getting in, and first things first, I want to get something. I want to correct something. Excuse me. My acid reflux acting up again, but... Okay, so a couple days ago, I did a video, and I was in TJ Maxx, and I picked up a fragrance in the women's section that says Coors low day parfum or something like that and <clears throat> before i started that video i looked up the perfume and it said it was for women so somebody brought it to my attention um that, that saw the video and said that they picked that fragrance up and you know whatever whatever and i said well it's a woman's fragrance just to let you know and then they proceeded to correct me again and say, no, it's not a woman's fragrance. If this is a woman's fragrance, then so is CK Shock. So I'm not in the type of person that I don't want to get into a pissing contest with anybody. I mean, I have, but I didn't want to. And so I just, you know, whatever, man, you got that. Since you know everything, whatever, whatever, cool. I'm not going to argue with you. So I looked it up again. Same result. I got woman's parfum or uh, perfume. Same box, everything. Catch 22. I look it up. I go back and I look at the video again. And it's like the second one I think I picked up. I picked up Abercrombie and Fitch something first. And then I think the second box I picked up was that Coors uh, Low Day Parfum or whatever. What I didn't notice was the two. And Roman numerals on the front of the box. That was the difference. So I did tell the person. I can't remember his name. It was some funny screen name. That's why I don't I do not do like them funny names and all that kind of stuff. I just mostly use my real name or whatever. But um, I let them know that, hey, I'm a man of mine. I made a mistake. My bad. So I'm publicly apologizing to you on this channel. And I wish I could say your name. I can't say it, but I'm pretty sure if you want to be noticed or whatever, then you'll comment in the comment section and people will know who I was talking about. But for the most part, I made a mistake. I'm, I'm man enough to own up to it. My bad. I apologize for saying you were wrong. You were right. So case in point, uh, I did look it up again and I put the two on the back end of it and yes it did pop up and it says it was a men's fragrance tobacco and all that other good stuff so i may go back and purchase it if it's still there it was only like seven dollars and some change or whatever so i may go back if i run across some cash but for the most part it ain't no biggie to me whatever um but once again i apologize for that you got that cool we moving on so as I said before, I'm not fortunate enough to be getting bottles and fragrances from these cologne companies because for some reason, I don't know what it is, I don't appeal to these people, and so I'm not going to stress it. It is what it is, so be it, whatever. Um, I have some of the greatest subscribers on YouTube that... You know readily will give me decants or you know send me a bottle of something which is cool i don't mind that at all i appreciate it greatly um uh, but it is nice sometimes to be able to reach out to some people and be able to get some samples maybe a bottle or two or something uh but like i said for some reason i don't know what it is but it is what it is um I got this in the mail today and it kind of made me feel shitty and I don't know how many people have received this and I don't know if this came from um, Doji and Gabbana because they seen my channel or any of my reviews or this is just something they just sending out to people whatever the case may be they sent me a sample of Doji and Gabbana the new fragrance that came out, K or Crown or whatever you, the hell you want to call it. I've heard mixed reviews on this. 
Some people say it's decent. Some people say it is not. I don't think Ash from Gentsense likes it much. Uh, he said the bottle's tacky, and I don't think he likes the either the opening or the dry down on this fragrance. One of the two. I've never smelled it, so I guess whatever it is they sent me on the back of this card, it's like a peel-off sample thing. Whatever. We'll just get into it and see what I think. just wipe some on my hand because what I'm smelling right now is not bad smells kind of a little citrusy it almost reminds me of a blue fragrance almost I don't want to say like like Blue Day Chanel or Atlantique or something like that, but it does have that blue vibe to it. I don't know what the dry down is going to be like, but I guess we'll find out. And this is, this wasn't even enough of a sample to even last, like... I'm barely smelling it right now and it's it's a little oily on my hands you can see it but it's not enough for me to even get a real reading on it so opening was not bad to me I don't know I guess it is what it is I just know that um Whatever the price is on this, uh, retail-wise, I'm not willing to pay for it. And I will wait until maybe it hits discounters and maybe pick a bottle of this up. Uh, but for the most part, I'm not spending retail on this one. It's not a bad smell, but I'm barely smelling anything right now. Like, they did, like, squirt, like, a little bit inside here, and then they sealed it with this. And it was just enough to like get a little whiff or two of it, but it's it's faint, but it's still there. Um, thank you, Doji and Cabana. I guess I don't I don't know, whatever. But anyway, I am about to watch the rest of this game that's on NBA preseason is upon us. The second thing. That I get excited about besides Alabama football is the NBA. I do watch some college basketball, but not a lot. Uh, but this season in the NBA is going to be pretty damn interesting. Uh, we had a lot of jumps and moves and uh, teams building. And like no one definitive team right now is the uh, favorite. Everybody is leaning towards the Clippers right now, but the Lakers looking really good. Um, I'm hoping Houston can make some noise with the addition of Westbrook. Um, there are a few other teams out there that I'm interested in watching. But for the most part, Golden State, I want to see what they're going to be like. Brooklyn, I want to see what they're going to be like when KD comes back. Um, especially Golden State when Clay comes back. Um, hopefully they can hold it down until Clay does come back. Uh Whatever else team out there that I'm not naming, I can't think of them right now because it's really time for me to get off this damn thing and get in the shower and get my ass in the bed. But for the most part, once again, to that subscriber who uh, corrected me on the Coors Low Day Parfum, you got that. You were right. I was wrong. If I had a piece of paper, I would have made a dunce hat. That's what I was going to do, but... I didn't have a big enough piece of paper to cover this big ass dome of mine. Um, but like I said, you got it. You were right. I was wrong. I'm man enough to admit it. I apologize. And thank you to Doji and Gabbana to, for sending me, I guess, what you could call a sample. Um, like I said, I, I only got like a few seconds of smell and then it was gone so i 
whatever. Um, I guess here's to smelling great. I'm out. Peace.